instant begin. Stop the video, sip the potion, start the video. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Satisfactory. It's your boy. Yo, boy. Dude, we're doing kind of good. If you're new, welcome aboard. Sorry, I didn't do the full intro thing. Welcome back. If you're new, welcome aboard. All that good stuff. Look at us go, man. We have turned these off on purpose because our power grid is scary. It is quite frightening, but that's okay. And uh, that is the thing that is on the docket. I believe that is the most important thing that we need to figure out. Is a much better and able to be increased bio burner setup. So what we're going to do there is we're probably going to build off from like here. Yeah, I think this is a pretty good spot for the hub. So we will bust this out. Excuse me, man. We're gonna bump this out a little bit. Dude, he knows, I swear to you, and I, hand to God, I don't plan this. He knows when I start a video. That's when he circles back, dude. I guarantee it. It's actually kind of funny. Very often, he circles back right when I start a video. And honestly, it's quite touching. Give me that. Get out of there. It is quite touching, dude. Okay. So let's grab... Right, Alt, and Scroll. Time out. Is that a... Yo. Oh... Look at that moon, dude. Good night, moon. Look at that. All right, that that's amazing. Yeah, there is. There are 10 different presets. That's insane. But you know what? Kind of makes sense. This is what we're going to do. Oh, it doesn't have to be right. It can be left alt, too. Sick. All right, so on two. You see the little... Yeah, you can see that. Yeah, the little little bar down here. What we're going to do here, I think, is make our foundations, as well as some walls. Whoa, 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 whoa. Something like that. We have not done walls yet, but that's okay. And then, if that's the case, we can actually then also remove that. Not that it matters right now. But like, I guess a personal storage box? Sure. It definitely makes sense to me. Oh, and of course it's nighttime now. It makes sense to me to have like, all right, we're building a bunch of conveyor belts, right? So one of the hot bars is gonna be all like conveyor belt stuff. Um, and power grids, cables, poles, all that good stuff. Um, so it makes sense to have one that's just like base building, foundations and stuff. Oh, dude, it's so dark. Hello? Okay. Something like that. I know it's kind of a waste because we just put one down right there, but it is what it is. Let's make it... Um, honestly, I mean, is there any reason not to do this? I don't think so, right? I mean, not really a good reason to do it, but no reason not to, right? Unless we're going to put the hub here and it's too big. We'll cross that bridge when we come to it. No problem, dude. Alright, we'll come up here. And this is going to be the layer. Nice. This is going to be the layer where we actually build out some... Electricity generating devices um oh man it it raises like one more hmm probably gonna want that just go on top please sir sir can you uh can you go up please I'm trying to get you to stack on top i thought we could do that like, put it right on top of it. Yeah. Maybe that was just having a... It was having a rough day. Happens to the best of us, man. No worries. 
It is all good. Um. How are we looking? How are we looking with that? I think we're for sure gonna put like a ramp or something here. Then all your ramps are just gonna start looking stupid. Better plan. We're gonna do this. And then. Let's see, I think we need a two. Yeah. That's kinda cool. We'll go up. And now we're up another little mini layer. We need to raise probably another two, don't you think? At least. Just to get on top of this area. Should just start it over here. Alright, note to self. Next time you're doing like... Uh, kinda like... This isn't gonna be our massive factory. It's going to be a big factory, by our standards anyway. But when we do the massive... When we do like an intermediate factory, I think we can definitely put like a pad out here that's unconnected with this and then maybe connect them by like a walkway or something just so we don't have to fight with the hills every time you know like something like this yeah it's kind of turning out though everybody say goodbye to the tree um we don't have any biomass do we of course not dude you kidding I'd be way too smart if I had some. Could never. Could not be me, man. Alright. Going up here. Then we're going up here. And then we're... Dang near where we need to be, I think. Maybe raise one more? Oh man. Um, yep, that works. Something like that. And I guess also, if they're close-ish, they can still kind of be on different levels, you know? It's not that big of a deal. Tell you what is kind of cool, though. Going from trying to make, you know, put stuff out anywhere that they fit over there, to actually like, you know what? Let's make a factory floor, baby. Make a factory floor. And you know, that's not bad. If we don't extend this way, we don't have to go up anymore. So let's just make a decent... Yeah, a little, little decent area over here. Little... Oh, hello. Something like that, dude. Dude, the expansion is, is beautiful. I don't want to put down ramps yet, because I'm not sure how much more we're going to expand, you know? You never really know. Never really know, dude. Okay, but I think this is plenty to try and... Lay out some biomass burners. And the, the size is big... But that's on purpose, because we're also going to end up putting, like, those, uh... What you called? You know, the... We, we have a setup over there to make biomass automatically just by tossing in le lettuce. I mean, that would work, you know? But you toss in leaves in one, toss in wood into another. I want to do that, but also have, like, the rest of them, too. Like, uh, all the different kinds of alien meats turning those into animal protein or whatever and then alien protein of course let's let's not get crazy all right please uh take a look at the sky while i sip my coffee honestly that's quite nice that is quite nice saturn okay so i think we're still doing okay also, by the end of this episode, I think we'll have enough to complete phase one, by the way. Which is kind of crazy. Kind of crazy to think about. But, okay. So now, let's take a look at the bio burners. They're not on a hot bar, but that's fine. 
biomass burner. There's got to be a better form, right? Got to be. Hmm. I don't think it matters that much. I'll be honest. And we can make a, a bunch just because we are going to... We're going to go remove the ones over there anyway. Okay. I love having them. They're just such a weird orientation, man. I love having them right on the square, dude. Oh, it feels so good. Just do something like this. There's four. I think we have four and then the two on the hub, right? Right now. So that's like a... Honestly, that's a decent start. Might as well make eight. We don't have to have them all going at the same time. And then once we need them, we can turn them back on. Gary, making his rounds. Yeah, let's do that. Right, middle mouse button. Middle mouse button, dude. Cannot afford. We're going to need some iron plates. Man, if only we had a box full of iron plates. Sweet. It's our lucky day. Jump. Jump. Lovely. Alright, biomass burner. Let's throw you this way and we'll, we'll face you in. So that's kind of nice anyway. So you stand here, it's like they're all pointing at you. That's kind of cool. Middle mouse button. Getting a little dark. I bet... Are there lights? There's got to be lights, right? Maybe in the... Uh... That's not the right way. Wait, is it? No. Don't be silly, dude. Not even close. I mean, kind of close. It was like one of two options. Hello? That's not bad. And then one more, and then I think we're good on these for now. I love the space that we have in between them, too. That's kind of nice. You hear that? Is it the whale? I have yet to kill a whale. Should I kill a whale? Good. They each have fire extinguishers. That's good. That's very, very good. Dude, speaking of fire extinguishers. Alright. Haleberry. Speaking of fire extinguishers. One time, my wife and I, we went to a Fiero car meetup. Alright. Near where we live. It's like... So Fierro's, all right, known for, at least this is what, I guess, you know what, little backstory. I am nowhere near a car guy, okay? I don't pretend to be. I know very little, um, but I do appreciate cars, you know, they're, I, I can tell when they're gorgeous. I, I like how they look, how they sound, whatever. I can appreciate a nice car, but my wife, huge car person, okay? I mean, it is... It is a part of her, it, well, it is her profession, but, so she's a huge car person. Um, so I'm learning so much, right? And one thing, her favorite car is the Fiero. And from what I am told, and, I, and again, I don't know if this is accurate or not, uh, they are known for just being so, <laughs> just being like the ugliest sports car <laughs> you can, uh, you can make they're kind of old they didn't make them for very long but they're like beloved there's like a super tight-knit group uh, that meet and anyway they're known for catching on fire they're known for without warning well obviously they're probably gonna have to be on but out of nowhere just mm, catching on fire oops I'm on fire, essentially. Also, we're gonna start moving some stuff. We need to we need to start moving boxes of stuff, I think. So while I finish the store, we're gonna start moving. Alright, so they just start catching on fire. So, for this meetup, which is in like there's a there's a couple of the oldest ones and like it, it's like hosted by this hotel. And in, like, the conference center, there's a couple of them, right? And there's people with t-shirts selling them, pins and whatever. 
and everybody brings their Fiero and they park them in the like parking lot. It's kind of cool. When we walk through, it's like a car show. Yeah, it's pretty sweet. And a rule is if you bring a Fiero, you have to have a fire extinguisher. Every Fiero has to have their own fire extinguisher. So all these owners, which they probably had them anyway, because if they're driving them, they might just catch on fire. Oops, again. Oh, I'm on fire. But we're walking around and I'm, I kid you not, like a thousand fi little baby fire extinguishers just leaning up against these cars. <laughs> and I'm walking around like, I'm not even looking at the cars anymore, dude. I'm, I'm looking at these fire extinguishers. Like this actually is pretty impressive, you know? The fact that you can be there, that's fine. Um, the fact that everyone's like, like, yeah, yeah, makes sense. Yeah, it could catch on fire, you know. But they're just so okay with it. And you know what? I kind of forgot that until just this moment. And I, I plan on it one day buying my wife a Fiero. I might want to rethink that. <laughs> Because of the whole bursting into flames thing. Hmm. You know, I didn't... I didn't think of that till just now. Huh. That's interesting. So maybe before I buy a Fiero, and hey, if you're in the market, maybe before you buy a Fiero, double check you have the right... Are you not hooked up? Don't lie to me, dude. You're hooked up. You're really not hooked up. Wow, he's not. What a fool. It's okay, we got plenty. I think we're good, right? Everything now is hooked up? Yeah. But yeah, maybe look into the whole bursting into flames thing. Anyway, that was my, that was my crappy little Fiero story. Yeah, it's a real thing, look it up. They catch on fire like, like it's nobody's business. It's kind of crazy. Okay, we're going to... And you know what, man? We got so many extra. What am I doing? Just dump all your crap in here. Okay. Dump all your stuff in here. Oh no, my storage is full. Good thing I have another one on top of it. For now. Don't worry. We are definitely going to get organized and probably have a bunch of personal... Oh, jeez, dude. Look at that. We're going to go complete phase one, dude. I think. Unless we have to put them in a box and then ship them into it. Which I think is probably what you have to do. Okay, that was fun. That's fine. Death. Death is fine. Okay. So this thing. Space elevator. The crux of our mission. It is all about finishing the different phases. Can I just dump these in here? Do I actually have to? Uh, I think I can. Seal. That's pretty loud. What's gonna, what's gonna happen? Construction platform. Oh, that's cool. Oh, okay, what? What? Oh, gas. Oh, hey. Dude, nice. Hey, dude. Phase one, complete. Uh, to complete phase two, we're gonna need 500 of those things that it took us forever to get 50 of. Nice. Nice. Sweet, though. That's, uh, that's good stuff. Take a look at the hub terminal. Uh, vehicular transport. Dude, I'm so excited. Improved melee combat. Oh my god, dude. I'm so excited, dude. We can do all this pretty easy, too, now. Except for maybe the rotors. Oh, dude, that's so good. So good, man. Steel pipes. Steel beams. A little more advanced buildings. Time out. Are you telling me that... Okay, iron and coal makes steel. Interesting. Versatile framework. 
Wait, but so are you telling me eventually you're going to need to worry about, like, structural strength? Because that's awesome. Or do you just turn them in? I bet you use them to make, like, that. This is my guess. Water extractor. Sick, dude. We do need water. That's awesome. Scanner upgrade. Coal. Fluid buffer. Okay. Coal generator. Oh, dude. Burns coal. Boil water. Oh, that's amazing. Generate electricity for the power grid. Yo. That's massive. That is massive, massive. Good thing we did that before we just built eight biomass burners. Oh wait, we did build eight biomass burners. Oops. Look at this guy though. Tractor? Fuel, any fuel type. I'm gonna move the mic. Dude, I don't know, sometimes you can hear me like punch the mic, sometimes you can't. Dude, I'm so excited. Sends or receives resources to vehicles? Dude. Okay. Um, this is, like, number one priority, I think. Which we have a good amount being made of just generic stuff. I think we... Probably can set up some of this to be made with some of our miscellaneous things. Right here, first and foremost, let's pick one. I think we go for the power. Because then, with the power we are going to gain, or the ability to create the power that we are gaining, that is a smelter? I do not care. No, you are the smelter. You are the constructor. I do care. Um, We are going to make you... I'm sure we have a ton of cable. Probably iron plates then, huh? I guess. As we have a ton of iron plates. Okay. Well, we could... You're making reinforced iron plate. We need to hook you back up, I think. Yeah. How are we doing on our power supply? I'm actually not too sure as of right now. All right, 158, capacity 160. Seems like a uh, seems like a problem. And you are gonna take up what? 15. Okay. Understood, dude. Hmm. An interesting one. So do we like? Do we kill this just so we can start making those again? Honestly, I think so. We have plenty stockpiled, right? Holy crap. Yeah, we do. All right. Yeah, let's do that, man. Let's turn you off. And then let's take a look at this again. 133. That's plenty. We'll jump on over here. And we need to hook you up to something. You need that guy? can't afford well that makes me a little grouchy bro what you what you trying to say I can't afford that why don't you take a look at the insane amount of cable that I have here oops Caterium. Caterium. I believe it was Caterium. I know a couple episodes ago I mentioned how somebody literally like held my hand through it on how to pronounce it. And then I'm like, sweet, now I'm never gonna forget. But then I absolutely forgot. And then I forgot to uh, look at it after that recording session. So I'm still, I think it's Katarium. Okay, we're gonna remove, you know what, you, you guys can be hooked up. That's fine, because you're not going to do anything. That's no problem. But what we need to do then... Is hook up what? You? Yeah, hook up you to... That works. Something like that. So now we should be okay. Right? 172. 
Uh oh. Oh, but that's wait, hold on, but that's max. I gotta look at the normal. We're okay. Yeah. M43. It's all good. It's all good, man. Cause these guys aren't doing anything. Okay, so now they are gonna keep making reinforced iron plates, which is very good. Um however. Hmm. Okay, this is the plan. And it's kind of sad because we just made this, right? We need to revamp it a little bit. To instead... Instead of making these red plates... I think we just have them... Spit it out into a box. At least for now, right? Yeah, I think that is necessary. So... Honestly, that's not- that's not too crazy. If I literally just do this... Remove you. Dude, done deal. Wow, look at you. You're so fancy. Bro. So fancy, that's crazy. Uh, I think I need plates. Normal plates. I got too fancy of plates, man. And too many different kinds. Alright, because we need rotors. And we need... Isn't this just gonna be... Yeah, reinforced plate. 67%? You're not getting enough iron plates? What? Miss that, dude. Miss that one. Oh, we need a whole bunch more than just that. Alright, understood. Let's go get some concrete. Oh wait, hold on. I'm dumb. It's right here. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. No problem, man. No problem. Okay, so we could either just put a couple of these boxes. Yeah, hold on. Let's do that. Remove you. Remove you. Go ahead and just put them like right here. That's cool, you can just hook it right to it, huh? Uh, kind of. No? Yeah. Whatever, man. Something like that. Slap it down. It is what it is. And then now... Dude, are you kidding? <laughs> Oh, man. And now... Alright, we gotta make sure that's, like, lined up then, huh? Jeez. Alright, I think we're okay. Let's go! I like that it's going up anyway. It's kind of fun. Okay. We can remove that, too. So, we have... 33... Red plates. Okay. It's not nothing, man. Yeah, I think the move is we need to focus on these milestones. We need to focus on the milestones so that we can then get to the cool stuff. And then, once we have said cool stuff, we're going to set up even bigger factories that will then pump out all this red gear. You know what I mean? Because the biggest problem is the massive amount of power. But now that we have this this water deal on the horizon... Is really only 100? 100 times. Alright. Now that we have that water deal on the horizon, man, I mean... I think we're looking pretty good. Oh, we had like another 100 of those sitting somewhere. We might. It's highly possible. Okay, you are making... When I'm not looking, is he is he eating my cables? I know he's not because everything's still going, but can you imagine? You look over and my man's just like gnawing on a cable. That'd be kind of funny. Okay, halfway to that. How are we doing on copper? 
Because we are producing enough of everything, I would think, to feel good about it. And we got lots of concrete in reserve. So we don't really need to up our concrete production all that much. I think we're looking pretty good, man. Let's take a look at the ma'am. See if there's anything that we could be doing right now. I love that. Inflated pocket dimension. Sick. Oh, wait, hold on. That's amazing. Just for three alien protein or whatever, and then a thousand cable? We can do that right now. So easy. Hold on. I think. Do we not have enough cable? I was just talking smack about how much cable we had. <laughs> Come on, man. How you about to talk smack and then just be absolutely wrong? I mean, I just showed you how, but it is what it is. Okay, we're going to need modular frames, though, as well. Understood. Hmm. Coal power. Oh, dude, I'm so excited, man. I'm so excited, dude. All right, so we're going to need to start mining coal then, huh? Oh, man. That's going to be kind of crazy. Yeah, we don't even have enough cable. Look at me just being wrong. I know everyone's like, yeah, what else is new? But hey, unknown chemical element. Blade Runners. Yo, Blade Runners. Hello? Silica? How do you make silica? Well, I know how you make silica, like in real life. Yo. Concrete Clinic, Part 2, The Story of Silica. Hmm, so we need these, right? No, 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 they said not the balloon mushrooms. I, I always forget. There was like three... There's like three flora-ish, right? Three prevalent ones, anyway. And we had two of them and gave them to the dog, and the dog was like, I want nothing to do with these. Which I said, fair enough. And then I left. But apparently, the third one that we did not have is the one that he actually wants. I just, again, keep forgetting which one that is. But, what are you gonna do? Okay, so now we have these plates being made in two different locations. Rotors are being banked over there. Not really the most efficient thing to have everything over there and then run back and forth. So I think we need to I think we need to figure that out. Nice. All right, too steep when she gets to the top. It makes sense. Or the bottom rather. Okay, I'm just, I'm curious if we can get this phase done before the end of the episode. I don't think so. Yeah, maybe. Maybe, maybe. Okay, so, in that case, let's plan this out, right? We're gonna need water, which, hey, lo and behold, I kind of figured we would need water. Here's some water. There's some water. This is going to be our main base. I think. At least for now. Um, can we can we move around or no? You can only zoom in. That's lame. Okay, so like... And now I know. I'm going to start dropping tags and whatnot. But look at this. This map's kind of big, actually. Oh my god, dude. Oh. It's just so scary, man. <laughs> Out of nowhere. Ugh. Oh, hey, there are those 100 plates I was thinking of. Eight more rotors there. Okay. For alien protein, a little bit more motors. Maybe next episode we will go and 
You got that drop pod. Who knows, man? Who knows? You know, it would be worth it, now that I think about it. If the copper node... Which I know, that's a normal copper node up there. Which is why we're getting so much, it's great. But the one that's down away, that we're gonna end up tapping eventually... I forget, I'm pretty sure that was just like a... Like a crappy one. Like a 60 a minute, right? Or a, uh, a 30 a minute. So it doesn't really matter all that much, but... Dude, look at that. Do we want to use all of our cable? Honestly, not really. Because <laughs> I think we need... Yeah, we need cable for all of these, man. Well, at least that one. And that one. Hmm. Hand slot. Yo, a third hand? Let's go. You know what, man? We're making more. It's all good. Let's do it. Plus six inventory slots. That's nothing to sneeze at, man. Sweet. Plus one hand equipment slot. Also sweet. Dude, I just want... Give me the gun. I want the gun. Alright, dude. Sweet. Um, Let me check my rotors. We got 25 of them. Oh, dude, we're so close. We gotta have enough. Let's go get the five rotors. Time out. Before we do that, let's double check. We can't build them here, can we? Uh, we sure can, dude. Give me some screws. I need me some screws. Should have plenty in here. We can just make the ones that we're missing real quick. So we only need five. Alright, man. And then that will be our first milestone. Full power. And that's wonderful news. I think we only need five. That's okay. One extra one. Launch that boy. Coal power, Milestone dude. Milestone reached. Coal Ooh. is an improved alternative power source to biomass and can be wave. fully automated if provided water with the new pipeline fully buildings automated. and power throughout the initial setup. Coal has been added to the resource scanner. Oh, watch out for Gary, dude. Note, ensure the close proximity of water to the coal production line. Note, pumps will aid in vertical transport of fluids through pipes. Okay. Note, Throughput Note. and volume indicators Note. are added to each pipe section automatically. Note. Okay. Throughput indicators. Intri interesting. Very intricate. Okay. Fluid buffer. Beautiful. Let's go to power. Coal generator. Burns coal to boil water. That's wonderful. Okay, you know what? Real quick. Let's see... Where's our closest coal? <laughs> 600 meters that way. Okay. Well, I think the uh, I think the next thing on the docket is to go get some coal, man. Go and get some coal. So let's first, firstly, Make sure we have... Because we're going to want to tap as much of that coal as we possibly can. That's a, like a given. So we got to make sure we have what we need. To just make a bunch of these. Which we should be okay. We might need a couple more portable miners. Just in case. My guess is there's up to like three. Like probably three nodes at the most so yeah we'll do something like that do something like that and then so we should be good there 3 30 and 30 we're, we got plenty water extractor we'll deal with that when we come back don't need a smelter and then we just need a ton of conveyor belts just plates Potentially, 
Hmm. Potentially fancy plates. Whatever. We'll see. We will see what there is to be seen. And we got 400 bars. Yeah. I think we're, we're okay. Maybe grab a couple more just in case. And yeah, dude. Hey, that's going to do it for this episode, man. I appreciate you guys stopping by. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, please click the like button. Next episode, we're about to go hunt down some coal, man. We're bringing this to the next level. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. Say goodbye to Gary. Please subscribe. Daily videos. We'll see you in the next one. See ya.